Hi, Mikhail here from Fix Apple Now, and today we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Apple Watch. We're going to warm up all the sides of the glass because that's where it's attached to the to the body, and we'll start prying it up with the uh, first metal tools. And then I'll take it over with some plastic tools like a guitar pick or uh, a plastic cart. And we have a little bit of clearance. So I'm going to uh, start with a cart. Yeah, it's a regular plain plastic cart. Not, not paper, but plastic. Very thin plastic, but works great on this type of application so we'll carefully slide the the plastic card around the around the edge if if it doesn't go well i guess you can uh warm it up a little more but in my case it seems pretty good but i'll probably warm it up still Okay, like so. Okay, so we have the screen off the, the frame. So now it's just a matter of unplugging it and I'm going to cut this adhesive right here. So there is a metal um, bracket that holds the connector down, like securing it down so that it doesn't go loose from a, a minor uh, shock. So we have to release that first before we can unplug the actual screen. And to do that, you need to uh, go with a tool with either a flat driver or a blade but very blade but very carefully and uh, disengage it from this side it's probably it probably has some adhesive there as well so it's Yeah, you don't want to damage the actual ribbon that goes from the motherboard. Okay, got it. So now with just regular tweezers, just remove that, but that's how it looks. And this little piece, and it's attached with uh, with like uh, this little side right here. Okay. So now with any plastic tool, it can be a like those um, spudger tools that you get with different screens and different uh, items online or just a, a black, I'm using a black uh, spudger tool with a flat side. It's very easy to go under that connector and just dis disconnect it. And there we are. Uh, the screen is off. The flex cable is intact right here and uh, that's how you do it 
Okay, so now that the screen is off, it's time to prepare the frame for new adhesive. Because there's still a little bit of old adhesive, as you see, uh, like adhesive residue left on the uh, edges of the device. So for the new adhesive to uh, stick well, you want to clean it up. And for that, we're just going to use some alcohol and a Q-tip. Um, and don't don't spray too much so that it doesn't run just enough for it to be like wet and then carefully slowly work around uh, the you know the sides of the watch and clean all of that sticky residue once that is done we're just gonna apply a um, layer of 3m double-sided adhesive and put the new screen on. Yeah, apply a little more, uh, spray a bit more alcohol on the good tip. All right, I feel it's good enough. Yeah, let's just apply. We have this one millimeter uh, double-sided 3M adhesive that we use for applications like that, and uh, that's how we do it. Preferably using, uh, you got to be using tweezers so that you touch the actual sticky side of the adhesive the least, the, the better. So I'm, I'm doing the sides first and then I'll do small. Um, inserts into the cor in the corners. So once all of that is done, I'm just gonna tuck it in, like press on it a little bit so that it sticks well to the frame first before applying the uh, screen assembly. And uh, once, you know, once I do the screen assembly, I just, again, give it a good pressure uh, session and um, it's going to be stuck for good. Okay, so let me lay this stuff down and cut the extras that are like in this case, just the little edges sticking out, you need to cut that off as well as here. Actually, yeah, I just pushed it in and it looks like I won't need any uh, any more adhesive in these two corners. Just a little bit over here and over here. I'll just cut it, um, cut really small pieces and, and bring it down there with the tweezers.
like so. Okay, I'll remove the paper. It's fine. And the second piece. Just a little too long. Cut it by a matter of like a millimeter. Like that. Okay, so just press it down one more time all around the perimeter. Make sure that the adhesive is nice and in place. And now it's time to put the screen back on. Here's our brand new screen, the full assembly. Um, okay, so let's put it Put the back in the position. First, I would love to uh, plug it in and uh, just um, try to turn it on. Make sure that the screen is good. So for that, I'm just going to use the same plastic tool. You know, first I, I uh, place the connector onto the, the the actual ribbon onto the connector and just gently press down uh, until I get the nice click. I'm going to try and show it here. It's hard to show it. But Okay, so both ribbons are connected. As you see, both of them are in place. So, okay, so we charged up the battery a little bit and um, the Apple Watch seems to be working fine touch-wise and LCD looks perfect. No dead pixels, no white spots. Um, touch works all over the screen. Very nice. So now the last step would be to just uh, lock the connector with this uh, metal bracket and then um, close up the close up the iP I'm sorry the Apple Watch. So I'm putting the uh, connector shield first. And again, it, it can only go one way. There's this little uh, hook and a, a little clicking um, pin here. So you want to make sure that you put it exactly the way it came off that um, assembly in the first place. So it's not going to go the other way around. Okay, it clicked really nice. Uh, the bracket is back uh, in, in its place. The connectors are secure, so if the, if the uh, watch gets shocked a little bit, those are not going to go loose.
let's just peel the um, adhesive paper paper protectors uh, and attach the screen to the frame. Yeah, I'm just using tweezers to pick that, that those paper strips. Um, but it, it can be done with like a, a sharp blade like that. You just carefully take it and remove it. But I, I, it's easier for me to use uh, just tweezers. So, so once the, all the adhesive uh, is ready to be used, just uh, align the screen with, uh, with that sitting um, position and uh, apply moderate pressure around the perimeter yeah maybe let me shut it off for now and um, should be good Okay, the screen is in place. Yeah, we can remove this protective film. Make sure that it's all good. I'm uh, gonna use a little magic microfiber cloth to clean it up. Oh, accidentally pressed the power button. But looks like new, brand new. It, it's original part. It's an original part, so there's no. Um, there's no like height difference because um, I'm sure there are some aftermarket screens that when you install them over here you would actually see the uh, that the screen is lifting up a little bit in this case it looks feels exactly the same as the original so um, you know you cannot you cannot tell the difference unless you know the if this if the watch was smashed like and you can see the the dent on the uh on the actual casing then you would know okay well there was some damage here but this one was kind of gently cracked so there's no there's no visual um traces of the of the accident on the on the actual metal uh casing so it looks it looks as if nothing ever happened to the to the device which is pretty cool a customer is going to be definitely happy Our Apple Watch. All you need to do is just put the uh, bracelet back on, and that's it. Okay, if you like the repair, give us thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and uh, enjoy more videos coming up. Thank you.